Hi everyone, it's Najra here and today I'm going to show you how I make strawberry chantilly cake. So first we're going to separate the egg whites and the egg yolks. You can catch it with your hand if you're more comfortable with that. <laughs> Make sure that you don't get any of the yolks in the egg whites because you're going to whisk this into a meringue later. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the egg yolks bit first. So here I've got the egg yolks. I'm going to mix in the sugar. Don't turn on your hand mixer just yet. Just manually mix in the sugar because you don't want it to splatter all over your work surface. So switch it on and whisk it up until it's nice and pale. So while you're working on your cake batter, you want to preheat your oven at 150 degrees Celsius. Once your cake batter is done, your oven will be ready and heated up. You can see that the egg yolk has turned pale and I've turned up the speed to medium. You want to keep going until it thickens up a bit more. Alright, so that's what you're looking for. Next, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla. And then on low speed, you want to slowly put in the oil. Make sure it's well combined. So next you're going to add in the milk. So the same thing, low speed and just pour it into the batter. So once that's done, you want to sift in your cake flour. So for this recipe, I'm using cake flour so that the texture of your cake is softer. I'm going to do about half first. just on low speed until it's combined. You don't want to over mix it because you don't want any gluten to develop in your cake and that might make it a little bit more tough and that's not what you're looking for in cake. And also I've got some baking powder and baking soda. In goes. Right, so that's combined. We're gonna set this aside and work on the meringue. So next we're going to whip up the egg whites. I'm gonna put in the cream of tartar. Same as just now, you want to mix it up. Start on low speed. You want to mix it until it's a little bit bubbly. And then you want to add in your sugar and I'm adding in one third at a time. At this point as well you can go at high speed but keep your eye on the meringue. It's at stiff peak at the moment so you want to lift your whisk and you can see that the peak just stays on like that. So next, we're going to fold in the meringue into the egg yolk mixture. Going to put in about one third of it first. And gently fold. So while you're folding it and it's still looking a little marbled, you can add in the next one third of the meringue. Make sure to use a separate spatula for the meringue so that you don't 
end up mixing the egg yolk into the egg whites because the fat content in the egg yolk tend to make the meringue collapse. If you're a beginner at baking and the folding method, to make it easier, you can use a whisk to fold. I'll show you. Same thing as well, just using a whisk straight down, under and over. Do it gently, you don't have to rush through it. You can see that the egg whites and the egg yolks are slowly mixing in. You can stop when it's all combined and you can check the flow of your batter on your spatula this way. So if it flows down just nicely and there isn't like a huge lump of meringue, you're good to go. Now that it's all mixed up, you want to evenly distribute it into three six inch pans. I'm using a ladle, but you can weigh it as well if you want. All right, so before we send it off to bake, what I do is I'm gonna place down a kitchen towel, just wiggle the pan to get the batter to kind of settle and flatten down and gently drop it like so. <laughs> this is to get all the huge air bubbles to come up to the top. You can see that it starts coming on. And then you wanna, ooh, you wanna use a skewer. Go around it. And repeat, wiggle it. So now we bake it for around 25 minutes or until golden. So if you want to know whether your cake is ready or not, you can use a skewer and poke through the center of the cake. And if it comes up clean, then your cake is ready. So now I'm going to get started on the strawberry compote. All right, so first I'm going to put in the strawberry. Today I'm using frozen strawberries. You can use fresh as well. And sugar. switch this on out so once you see that the strawberry mixture is boiling up you can put in the cornstarch and water mixture make sure that you mix it before pouring it in and then stir it you'll see that it'll start thickening up right away it's entirely up to you if you want your strawberries to be in whole or halved. But right now I want chunky bits of strawberries. Once it has thickened, you can turn off the heat, add in some lemon juice and lemon zest. You're going to set this aside to cool and while it's cooling, it's going to thicken up just a little bit. So now I'm going to make the Chantilly cream. Here I've got some icing sugar and vanilla. All the sugar in. So you want to mix this in manually first and then you want to put in about a teaspoon of vanilla and start whisking on low speed so now it's at stiff peak you can see that when you lift it up it's it holds i 
I've only filled up one third of the cream right now because I'm going to use it to fill the cake and then I'm going to use the rest for coating and the piping in the end. So now we're going to level the cakes before we start assembling it. There we have it, strawberry chantilly cake with strawberry compote filling. Try it for yourself and if you enjoy it, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more recipes.